everybody who is watching this video, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you into this very interesting moment. We are going to have uh, a very interesting module that's called Radar and Navigation Aids. And uh, it's uh, one of the parts of the telecommunication engineering. We use often these systems in order to measure or to do the detection of the distant targets. My name is Olen Jolai. It's the first time to meet me. And I'm very happy, and I would like to welcome you to learn something about the PATH radar system. I don't know everything about radar, uh, just the PATH radar, primary radar system. I just know small portions of it. But I'm always ready to teach some other students about the greatness of the radar. I have some physical, ordinary diploma students in electronics and telecommunication engineering, and I appreciate their presence. So if this is the first time to meet us, we ask you to join us from the beginning to the end. This lecture actually will actually take almost in 70 to 80 minutes. So I believe that until the end, you have something in your mind. What are the requirements for you for the today's lecture? Simple. You just we, you need to have a fresh mind. You need to have a pencil. You need to have a rubber. You need to have a ruler. You need to have a pen. In case you have all of those requirements, then let us go into the today's class. But before we do that, let me appreciate the presence of the physical students. How are you students? Yeah, How are you students? Yeah, are you ready for lecture five? Yeah. Wonderful. I'm happy to hear that. So lecture five is titled as we are still in, uh, in chapter two, introductions of radar system. So in lecture four, we have been teaching, I have told you about types of radar. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you specifically about one type of the primary radar that's called the pulse primary radar. And we'll be having some details about pulse primary radar. So what are we going to focus? The definitions of pulse primary radar. But before definitions of pulse, yes, pulse primary radar. And then so we'll be focusing on the block diagrams, general block diagrams of the radar system. Then we'll be having a focus on what team. We'll be having a focus on what team. Uh, on the general block diagrams or the block diagrams of the past primary radar, but also we'll be listing the parts of the past primary radar, and then we'll be explaining the path, uh, how does past primary radar work in order to detect a target or a distant target. Are we together? So before we we move on, let uh, let us link this lecture with the previous lecture. Quick review. Say quick review. Say a quick review, student. Quick review. Uh -huh. quick review of lecture four. So what did he learn in lecture four? First of all, the lecture is uh, titled as types of 40 types of radar system or radar sensors. Then we say that uh, in the telecommunication engineering or in the radar system, we have two types of radar. 
The first one is called the OT primary radar system. The second one is called the OT secondary radar system. Okay? Then we discuss about the two types of primary radar. The first one is what? A continuous wave radio frequency primary radar. And the other one is what? Pulse uh -huh. radio frequency primary radar. Then we discuss that we have two types of continuous wave radio frequency primary radar. The first one is what? Unmodulated. So, un unmodulated continuous wave radar. And the second one is what? Modulated. Modulated continuous wave radar. In case of the pass radar, also we say that we have two types. Uh, we have two types of pass radar. Or pass radio frequency primary radar. Uh -huh. The first one is what? A. Moving target indicator. The second one is what? A. Doppler. Uh -huh. So moving target indicator primary radar. Then I have also Doppler radio frequency. Uh -huh. What? Pulse. Or radio frequency primary radar. So that is in case of 40 of primary radar. Then we say we have how many types of secondary radars? A, four. The first one is what? Monopass secondary surveillance radar. Right? The second one is what? Mod X or Mod S. Uh -huh. The third one is what? A, pardon? Traffic alert and the collision avoidance system. So tax, right? And the, th the fourth one, automatic independent, automatic dependent, uh -huh. pardon? Automatic dependent? Sa uh, surveillance body cast. So these are the types of the radar system. So how many types of radar system do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Are we together? Yeah. So if that the case that was we discussed in lecture four and the the contents actual that we covered are very important and are very worth. Today, let us focus on <laughs> So, uh, now let us focus on pass primary radar. Say pass primary Radar. Say pass primary radar. Ah, wonderful. I'm very happy to hear that. So the fundamental question, so we know that this is the one type of primary radar, right? Yeah. Yes. And this is the simplest one to, to just to cover before continuous uh, frequency primary radar. Continuous frequency uh, uh, continuous wave uh, radio frequency primary radar is a little bit uh, challenging. So that's why I chose to teach you pass uh, radio frequency primary radar before continuous radio frequency primary radar, right? So the fundamental question is what is pass primary radar? So ask your neighbor, what is pass primary radar? So he said that a pass primary radar, a pass primary radar, we say that is the type of radar. This is the type of radar 
that emit electromagnetic waves electromagnetic radio frequency wave or RF wave radio frequency wave from the antenna or from the transmitting 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 antenna from the transmitting antenna in form of short bursts of phases of phases and the passes and the passes are are interrupted interrupted for a period for a period of time for a period of time so that the wave the wave can reach a reflecting a reflecting target a reflecting target reflecting target and the small portion or and the portion of passes passes wave return to the receiving antenna receiving antenna of pass radar before before the next short pass bust busty pass is emitted so this is the simple definition of pass primary radar class a again pass primary radar yes so a pass primary radar is operating this is the type of primary radar it's a type of primary radar so we discussed in lecture four that emit electromagnetic radio frequency wave from the transmitting antenna. That's what we have learned. But in which form? In form of the short bursts. Say short bursts. Say short bursts. Do you know something that we say that these things has bursts? Do you know, for instance, a bubble? Eh? A soap bubble? Or a drain drop. So it means that, or I think that, you know, uh, some of the rubbers. So a short basis of passes, and the passes are interrupted for a period of time so that the wave, not the, the wave, can reach what? A reflecting distant target. And the portion of passes wave return to the receiving antenna of pass radar before the next burst short bus is emitted so simply a pass radar 
we say that, or a past primary radar, this is the type of the primary radar, where that the electromagnetic waves, which will be emitted by the transmitting antenna, is occurring the information signal in form of pulses. In form of 40? In form of 40? In form of pulses. In form of passes. So these passes are just like a short burst. Say short burst. Say short, short burst. Say short burst. So remember that in this pass primary radar system, we have something which we call it a modulation or the part where we are, are actually that the wave, the information signal is modulated with a carrier signal. This electromagnetic radio frequency wave, it's a, a carrier signal, carrying what information signal. Where are uh, what are those? Uh, what the nature of those are of, the, are of the information signal? So the nature of the information signal is in form of forty passes. Are we together? Are we together? In form of forty short bursts of forty of passes. And these passes are interrupted for a period of time. So that, so it means that when these passes or short bursts of passes are being transmitted from the radar or from the past primary radar to the distant target, there are an interruptions of the period of time. I said stop writing, listen and watch. There are the interruptions of period of time of each of these short passes when they are being transmitted from the uh, transmitting antenna of the radar system towards a distant 30 target. And why those are, uh, why these short bursts of passes should be interrupted? Late comers, I said, it's a time you came, we find students, they are listening and watch. So I said that these interruptions of the periods of times of the short, uh, of the passes, or short bursts of passes, is actually intended in order to make sure that these passes reach what is the reflecting target. And then the small portions of those are emitted or transmitted short bursts of passes will be actually hit the target and the portions of it will be returning to the receiving antenna of the pass radar before the next short bus pass is emitted. So the radar always will be emitting what is the short bus of 40 of passes. The pass primary radar is always emitting OT, the shows buses of passes A after a particular time. But remember that the echo of those short buses of passes will be received before the next short bus of pass have been emitted. Are we together? Are we together, class? Yeah. So the definition, it might be seem like long, but actually it has a very important information for students to understand about past primary radar system. The primary radar system, the primary, oh, the past, the past primary radar, is mainly used to measure to determine the radar's parameters the radar parameters of the stationary stationary OT, stationary target so this is good because we have stationary targets and also we have moving targets. So pass primary radar is good in determining or is used to determine or is used in determining radar parameters of the stationary target. Okay? We have stationary targets and moving targets. So the pass primary radar, it's good 
in determining the radar parameters, how many radar parameters do we have? How many radar parameters do we have? The first one? A. The second one? A. Pardon? Radio velocity. The third one? The, uh, the fourth one? A. Pardon? Okay. The, uh, the pass primary radar is also knowing in some of the references known as basic pass radar. Basic pass radar. Basic pass radar. Then, after introducing to you the meaning of pass primary radar, let me teach you about block diagram, or let us draw the block diagram. If you have a question, ask it. Let us, let me teach you about block diagram of pulse primary radar. Pulse primary radar. Block diagrams of pulse primary radar. Figure one below show the general block diagram of pulse primary radar, radar system. I need that space. Students, so I need to draw it here. Can I clean? Yes. Huh? So not before, each block in figure one represent the important, important part of pass primary radar system. So each block in figure one represents sorti the important part of 40 of past primary radar. So this is actual answer the questions about parts of radar. Right? Parts of each block represents a part of 40. Second one is called the RI oscillator. Say RI oscillator. Pass modulator. Say pass modulator. pass modulator. And then the next part is called the duplexer. 
Say duplexa. Precaution. Make sure that you draw these block diagrams by using a pencil and not otherwise. I told you that engineering is all about what? Eh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Formula. So this is what? This is number or this is what? Diagram, eh? Uh huh. Ask your neighbor, do you like block diagrams of telecommunication? So, uh -huh, what did your neighbor say? Uh -huh, your neighbor said yes or you said yes on behalf of your neighbor? Uh -huh. So does your neighbor like the block diagrams of telecommunication engineering? Eh? Yeah. Does your neighbor like block diagrams of telecommunication engineering? How sure are you? Next week, ask him, show me one block diagrams at, of telecommunication, engineering system that you have drawn. So ask your neighbor, how many block diagrams of telecommunication engineering have you drawn since NTA level 4 up to now? Ask your neighbor again, how many block diagrams of telecommunication engineering have you drawn since NTA level 4 up to now? Many. Good. Tell your neighbor congratulations. Then ask, it, ask him or her the next question. How many telecommunication block diagrams do you still remember? None. Ah. You and your neighbor are you serious or... Figure one, block diagram of pass primary run. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the block diagrams of 40 primary or pass primary radar system. So to generalize the concept,
separating this part this part I think that all of this part listen all of this part this part we call it a radar transmitter radar transmitter unit when you say radar transmitter we have some blocks also here i said stop writing stop drawing listen when you say this when we call this block as radar transmitter it means here we have a number of blocks which did not open them okay so this is the radar transmitter but all of this part the pass generator the rif oscillator the pass modulator the radar transmitter the duplexer and the antenna this we call them sorti radar transmitter unit then we have a receiver so all of these parts all of these parts to the duplexer to the antenna this is what we call in telecommunication radar receiver I told you in lecture two, lecture one, yes, in lecture two, I told you that radar, most of the radar or in radar system, uh, the radar is actual equipped with a bus transmitting antenna and receiving antenna. So it's just one antenna will be used for transmitting electromagnetic waves and the same antenna will be used to receive the echo from the target. Are we together? So that's why that you find this duplexer, it's a shared part. And this part of antenna, it's also a shared part. So I think that I have write this one in capital letter. Antenna. That's why here I wrote TXE, means transmitting antenna. And that's why I wrote RXE, receiving antenna. This is the symbol for the OT, for the antenna system. So, let me just explain briefly to you when our dance will be dive on top. How many blocks do you have there? Class, how many blocks do you have in, the, in figure one? Eh? Twelve. Eh? Class, how many blocks do you have? In figure one. Eh? Eh? Let us count. Because as I say, they don't know how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the block. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You say 12. Why? Because you have known that this is the block. But it's a block which you use the schematic symbol of the antenna. So you say it's a block. It consists, you might find that the radar antenna maybe contains more than one antenna. So that's why you call it a block. So when you open that block, you can come up with the number of antennas depending on the capability or ability of the radar system. So how many blocks are for the transmitter part? How many blocks do we have for the transmitter part? Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many blocks do we have for receiver part? Eh? Eh? Nine. Okay, let us prove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Ashura was correct. Allness was was trying to look for the pencil. Okay? Are we together? 
So this is the one way of predicting. In some of the sources, some of the sources, uh, they used to draw the blood diagrams of the past primary radar by just see excluding the past generator block or the block of past generator and the block of RF oscillator. So you see altitude, gratitude. Then, so some of the sources they just see in the transmitter part, they might show that the pass modulator, radar transmitter, and then duplex. They ignore the pass generator and RI force later. Some of the sources you might find that they just see combine these uh, radio frequency amplifier and intermediate frequency amplifier. You might find that the, the, uh, the number of blocks is less than from the blocks that we drew. So it means that that block diagrams has, has hidden some of the important parts. So this is uh, a fundamental block diagrams of past primary radar system. Are we together? Are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yes. So if you summarize that block diagram before even explains and mention about the part, Summary of block diagram. Summary of block diagram of pulse primary radar. Huh? So when you summarize that block diagram, you can come up with only three blocks. So writing. The first block is this one. But okay. You can just summarize into four blocks. The first C block. The first C block is transmitter unit. It's transmitter unit. Then the second block is receiver unit. Then the third block is duplexer. So transmitter will be sending information to the duplexer and receiver will be receiving information from duplexer. And then this duplexer will be actual are having a transceiver antenna. So this is TX transmitting and receiving antenna. So remember that we might have a target here. So simply, the antenna will be propagating electromagnetic waves toward the target. And then the target will be reflecting some of it. So this is the summary. So that's why you see that that's the transmitter, receiver. So the duplexer and the antenna. First of all, the duplexer will be actually linking uh, the transmitting unit and the receiver units to the transmitting and receiving antenna. Are we together? Are we together? So this is, as I, to, I, called you that, I told you that, simply we can say that if excluding this and this one will be shared, so this is the transmitter unit. The first block, second, third, fourth, but then the transmitter what is? Unit. And then duplexer, it's here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Representing what is? Receiver unit. Okay? And then the antenna, it's shared for transmissions and for reception. So this is figure two. While I'm explaining, some of you are still drawing. Look your neighbor. Look your neighbor. The general block diagram of pulse radar, primary radar. So remember that the information signal for this case, look, the information signal for this case will be sent as short passes. 
can be either continuous, now this is for the continuous. So the information signal embedded within this electromagnetic will be short passes like this. And then the reflected one will be the short passes. So this is transmitted, transmitted passes, and these are, we call them echo passes. Are we together? Okay. Have you finished to draw it? Draw it now. Okay. So now, let us, after having the general block diagrams, you have it. Now, let us just focus the important part which have been taught or we have been told in sub enabling outcomes of this module, uh, which is called the parts of pulse primary radar, primary radar system. Primary, say parts of primary radar system. Again, say part of primary radar system. Then we say that according to figure one above, the following, the following are the main parts of Pulse primary radar system. So the first one we call it the first one we call it pulse generator. Class A pulse generator. So this is the part which will be generating pulses. And those passes, we discussed that they are short bursts of passes. Okay? Okay? The second part, it's called what? The second part, students, it's called what? Ah. Radio frequency oscillator. The second part, pulse modulator. Uh huh. The first part, a eh? radar transmitter. So when you say radar transmitter, there's electronic circuits there, which will be responsible for transmitting, because this is just for modulating. Radar transmitter. Then the next part is what? A eh? pardon duplex. A eh? This is not the multiplexer. This is called the duplexer. Say duplexer. duplexer. Say duplexer. 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 Again, say duplexer. duplexer. Uh -huh. The sixth part is what? Eh? Yeah. Not the antenna. Transmitting and the receiving antenna. The seventh part is what? The seventh part is what? T. Eh? No, no. Low noise radio frequency amplifier. Low noise radio frequency amplifier. Say low noise radio frequency amplifier. In previous module, you have been taught you how to design an amplifier. Ask your neighbor, do you remember how can you design an amplifier? We have different types of amplifiers in electronics. We have small 
uh, we have small, uh, we call them low power, we have small scale amplifier and large scale amplifier, but also we have intermediate scale amplifiers. Some of these amplifiers are used for the purpose of electronics. And some of them are used for the purpose of electronics communication. So when you hear about low noise radio frequency amplifier, this is the type of amplifier which is used in electronics communication. Some of the amplifiers are not used in electronics communication. They have different, uh, uh, different, uh, we have, they have different, uh, different functions. But whenever you hear about RIF amplifier, say RIF amplifier. RIF, RIF is abbreviations of radio frequency. So it means that it's an amplifier which can, I say it's so writing. It's an amplifier which can amplify a signal in, in what? In radio frequency and radio wavelengths. So it can amplify uh, the signal which is actual, uh, its frequency and wavelengths is equal to the frequency and wavelengths of radio wave in the spectrum of light. Okay? It's completely different from small signal amplifier because a small signal amplifier, the frequency of the signal should be small. That's why it's called small signal amplifier. The frequency of, let's say, uh, for the radio frequency, you can find it 30 megahertz or 300 megahertz. For instance, you remember that some of the radars, they operate or they use, actually they operate to the frequency of 2 gigahertz. So when you say that, this is low noise. For instance, if you have 2 gigahertz past primary radar, uh, radar, past primary radar then that uh, 2 gigahertz past primary radar, it has a part in receiving units that's called the low noise radio or 2 gigahertz radio frequency amplifier. So you have to understand, in the next year, uh, in NT level 60, that the models we call the Electronics Communication Laboratory will discuss in detail about those types of full amplifiers and especially Electronics Communications Amplifiers. Okay? Okay? So when you talk about amplifier, according to what I know about amplifier, an amplifier may, may be just a cause where students have to learn for three years. Maybe what is A cause. Say a cause. Yeah. It's just like simulation. I told you that simulation always should be a cause. That students learn about simulation first year, second year, third year. They just learn about simulations and work in simulation. And actually, I want to tell you that you will actually change the world. Then, the next part, and it's called what is a, pardon, mixer. So a mixer, ask your neighbor, do you remember anything that can mix signals in electronics? Do you remember that any electronic circuits that can mix signals in electronics? Ask your neighbor, this is the time for you to talk with your neighbor. And I told you that you have to be careful to choose a good neighbor especially when you attend my classes. Because some of the neighbors are less helpful to the question. So ask your neighbor, tell me one of the electronic circuits that can mix the signal. Listen the answer from your neighbor. Hello. You didn't talk to your neighbor? No. Uh, so where did you write the response? You didn't write. Uh, what did he say? Uh, which one? The question is too much simple. Too much sim simple. For instance, when you go uh, just in that funeral ceremony, you'll find different speakers, you'll find different microphones, but all of the, those uh, com audio communication systems 
are, are connected to the mixer. Right? Connected to what? Which we call the sound mixer. In electronics, you have sound mixer and video mixer. So video mixer, it's a actual, this is the mixer mixing different videos from different video cameras. Okay? Uh -huh. So you don't remember any simple circuit that can mix signals in electronics? You don't remember? You forgot? Once you pass the module, then you tell it bye-bye. Uh -huh. What did your neighbor tell you? Nothing, eh? As usual. <laughs> so, a simple example or a simple electronics circuit which can mix. Listen now. So, check your neighbor. is listing the parts of the pass radar primary system or pass primary radar system. A simple electronics communication or a simple electronics circuit or system that can mix a signal is called the operational amplifier. And a operational amplifier can be used to, to perform more than seven functions in electronics. But one of the functions, we call it the summing amplifier. So the summing amplifier, it's actual, uh, it uses one of the inverting terminal, either inverting or non-inverting. Mostly it is inverting terminal. But this amplifier, it can sum up more than one signal. So this is signal one, signal two, signal three, signal four. So this is what we call this summing OT amplifier. It's a one of the applications of operational OT amplifier. And hopefully, I, I believe that you have been taught. You have taught. You have been taught that concept. You heard it because you learned about operational amplifier. Yeah. So this is the one of the common and the simplest mixer we use in electronics. Okay. So next time, that question won't be tough. Uh -huh. Then number nine. So you have mixer. So this mixer is actually going to mix the signal from where. The mixer in the pass radar system is mixing signals from which source? Pardon? Local? Oscillator in the OT? Eh? RF amplifier? Eh? So it's going to mix what? The signal from local oscillator in the OT? That is, not, that is the part. It's not a signal. That mixer is going to mix which signals? RF signal, uh -huh. Not yet. Which RF signal? Simply the mixer is going to mix two signals. One signal is echo signal, and the other one is the signal from the local slater. That's all. The low noise Radio frequency amplifier is processing the echo. Right? Right? So the name of the signal is called the echo or reflected passes that are reflected passes from the target. Okay? You have to understand in block diagrams, we have the electronics parts or we have the telecommunication parts and the signals. Those electronics parts always process signals. You have to know which signal is being processed here. And then after being processed, how do we call it? Okay? Okay? Number 90 is what? Local what? Local slater. Huh? Number 10. It's called what? A detector. Say detector. Uh -huh. Have you ever heard detector in telecommunication engineering? Eh? Uh -huh. what, uh -huh. what the meaning? What, what, what do we use to make a detector? Huh? Basic one? Sensor. Ah, 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 ah. That will indicate the modulator. Huh? So a detector is a, a modulator. Huh? Electrostatic. Number 11. Video amplifier. 
So what does the detector do? Eh? So we see here video amplifier. Say video amplifier. So video amplifier is amplifying what? Video signal. Uh -huh. Where did you get that video signal? Extracted from what? From the detector. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, my students, I think that. The other part is what? Eh? Uh, I forgot uh, one of the parts. This is called the intermediate. Intermediate frequency. IF amplifier. So, with this block diagram, you might be feeling unhappy if you forgot about amplifier. So, you have a low noise radio frequency amplifier, and also you have intermediate. Say intermediate frequency amplifier. Intermediate frequency amplifier. Then the certain part, remember that you had a video amplifier, because you have to ask yourself, what will be processed? What this amplifier is going to amplify? An audio signal, a video signal, a text signal, or what is it? Then number 13, this one, we call it cathode ray. What is Oscillator, oscilloscope, CRT, oscilloscope display. So these are the 13 parts of pass primary rubber. A video amplifier, because uh, what actual, that's why we have a display. Can a display display audio signal? Huh? No. What does this display display? Either text or video or what? Huh? Picture or what? So if you have a display, you should have something in your mind in advance that when the radar system determines the radar parameters, then it gives actually the outputs in terms of 40 of either picture or video, or in terms of video, simply it will be actually a dynamic picture or a moving tick that we call it a video because remember that most of these targets will be in dynamics, so it will show the video. It's not just like a uh, maybe a 4K video, no, they have a special test, a special, uh, a special way of displaying. That's why that we don't need maybe uh, we call them a uh, flat screen display, they just use the CRT. The cathode ray tube oscilloscope. Cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube oscilloscope display. That the means of C, R, T. So these are the 13 parts according to the figure one. Are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yes. So remember that the radar system just send the passes. And these passes hit the target. Right? And then the echo being received by receiving antenna and sent to the duplexer and duplexer sent to the receiver unit to be processed. But the output, the final outputs will be in form of video. So for myself, when I've been learning about radar system, when I hear that, then I say, what? This stuff are interesting. Just you send the pass, and you see the video of the incoming or moving away target. Are you together? So if that's the case, it's a time for me to leave the homework. So this is homework five. The question is, explain each block of Pulse primary radar system. Explain each block. 
So explain the operations or explain uh, operation of each block of past primary brother system. To mine is doing something great. So my dear student, uh, is it clear? Is the concept clear? Yeah, so it means that make sure you do this homework because in lecture 60, we are going to explain the operations of each block. And hence, once you explain the operations of each block, you will understand how does a pass primary radar work. Because you're explaining each block from the transmitter to the duplexer, and from the duplexer to the antenna, and then back to, uh, from the antenna to the duplexer, and duplexer to the receiver unit. Okay? So make sure that you do pre studies before we meet in lecture 60, where we'll explain the functions of each, and then in the next lecture, lecture 7, we'll be discussing about the uh, continuous wave radio frequency primary radar. So from there, it means we have achieved already the first sub-enabling outcome, and hopefully the third one, we have also explained about that. Because when you understand about the operations of each part, when I will teach about principles of radar, it will be a very simple for you, because you just need to know some few principles, but you have understood about operations of block diagram. Is it clear? Did you understand? OK, so it's a time. It's a time to congratulate you for understanding. One, two, three. Yeah. Wow. wow. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Uh, make sure that you review this material. And also make sure to be a part of our program. So thank you very much. See you in the next lecture.